Hey, it's your girl Kuki Kiani, and today I'm gonna be telling you the story of my parents moving to a different state and leaving me and my siblings behind. Okay. So basically, this happened. This happened after. Um, so basically, this is what happened. I told y'all my dad went to the penitentiary and stuff. And um, we lived we lived with a police officer that my mom was dating and stuff. And then I think my dad went to the penitentiary for two years, okay? And then at the end of his sentencing, I mean, at the end of his sentence, whatever, my mom left the police officer. She left him and moved into this trailer that was up the up the hill basically from the house that burned down i swear we didn't live in this trailer hell of times anyways i think we moved i think we might have lived there before my dad went to penitentiary but anyways um we move back into this damn house my mom leave her boyfriend whatever she had a mercedes benz everything we had we was never like worrying about nothing when we lived there or anything but she left him because my dad was getting out of jail. And then um, my dad got out of jail. He moved into our trailer, whatever. We were all living there. It was my dad. Oh, well, it was my dad, my mom. We had a cat, I believe. And then we had, and then it was my older sister, me, my younger brother, and my younger sister living there. Whatever. And um, this was in Mississippi still, whatever. And I don't know really, I don't really know like what their like logic was or what they, what the fuck they thought they was doing. So basically this is what they did. My mom and my dad went to Tennessee and they left me, well they left me, my older sister, my younger sister and my younger brother in Mississippi being babysat whatever you want to call it by my brother okay who is my dad's son okay um who is my brother on my dad's side whatever he was like 16 at the time y'all he was 16 my little sister was two my brother was six i was seven and my sister was my sister was like 10 my older sister was like 10 at the time and um these motherfuckers i mean my parents whatever they left us they left us in the middle of nowhere in west y'all when i say that it's the middle of nowhere i keep telling y'all it's the middle of nowhere it's literally the middle of nowhere they left us in west and went to tennessee um to work basically they went to my mom's my mom's mom's house so my mom's mom my grandma they were living with her and they was working at this job whatever and um we were in West with my brother and stuff, but my brother had a girlfriend in Durant, which is the next town over, which is the town my grandma lived in, my dad's mom. And um, he wanted to go visit his girlfriend. So he took us to Durant, to my grandma's house, okay? And my grandma did not know that my parents left and went to Tennessee without us. So that's how she found out, okay? He left us at her house and he went to go visit his girlfriend or whatever. Then, um... Then my grandma would not let us leave. Like, literally, she would not let us leave. And, um, and my grandma was terrible. Like, I be telling you that my dad's abusive and all that shit. My grandma abusive, too. That's where he got that shit from. He learned that shit from her. Like, growing up, we would always just think she was so evil and so mean, so hateful, so spiteful. So, um, we did not want to stay at this damn woman house. We tried to run away. Basically, my brother came back, like, a few days later. He came back on a bike and stuff with my cousin. Because my cousin, like, lived, like, in the projects. Like, my grandma lived in the apartment complex. And then if you go down this little path, you can go to the projects from there. So, he came from the projects trying to get us. We jumped out the window at my grandma house, y'all. We jumped out the window me my older sister my younger brother my younger sister all of us and we was we was we was about to be gone we about to be gone then next thing you know my little sister go back in the house because she forgot a teddy bear or some shit 
So then we got caught by my grandma and had to end up going back in the house, y'all. Right? Literally. Then my parents came to visit from Tennessee and they beat us. Literally beat us. My dad beat us, really, not my mom, but for jumping out this damn woman window when they didn't even leave us there. Like, how you whooping me for running away from where you didn't leave me? You left me at home. Isn't that where I should be? But anyways, um, that, they did that shit. And then we ended up staying at my grandma's house for months. Months. Months, 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 months. Dang, I just thought about something. How I just go, um, I just let y'all get, I just, um, told y'all this, but I forgot that when my mom was with, um, when my mom was dating Ross, that's his name, the police officer, he's dead now, so it don't matter if I say his name. When she was dating him, um, at some point in time, she had went to, um, I think she went to Tennessee to visit or some shit. And she left me and my siblings with her friend, right? And while her friend tried to give us to my grandma too. My grandma do not like my mom and she never has, really. She was calling her like um, half white bitch and shit like that. But, or she used to. I don't know if she'd be doing that shit now. But, um... Damn, is that the end of it? Oh, yeah. So, basically, we stayed at my grandma's for a couple of months or whatever. And then my parents ended up coming to get us. And we moved to Tennessee with my other grandma. And we were, like, living in her garage at the time. This is when she still had her house. And, um, shit. So, we were staying at my grandma's house and stuff. And then I guess my mom started, um doing drugs with my auntie my auntie is three years younger than my mama but they have the same um birthday and everything so my auntie um my mom and auntie was doing drugs and shit together and my dad was not going for it i don't know if he was trying to do better because he just got out of jail or whatever but he was not going for it so basically he planned to leave my mom and um I remember her telling him like she didn't want me she didn't want me my brother or my sister so she told him to take us because we are his kids and I already told y'all she ain't raised none of her kids anyways um yeah I feel like that's like I feel like I just combined hella stories together but basically, this is it. Because of all of this, this is basically going to be the start of me um, me being raised by my dad, basically. Because he leaves her. And eventually, he moves us to Ohio. <clears throat> but anyways, y'all, this is the story time of my parents move into another state without me and my siblings. Like, who does that? Should have been who these motherfuckers ain't deserve to have no kids or deserve to be nobody parents because what the fuck? I already know that my brothers went through crazy fucked up shit. I mean, like my older brothers. So did I and my siblings too. But goddamn. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, support your girl. Follow me on social media. Listen to my bullshit as life. Or whatever. And yep, that's it. Bye, y'all.